All right, welcome back to the wrap-up. Thank you, Lady Raiders, there, as uh, we're getting ready to replay that game of the week, featuring number two, Happy, taking on number three, White Deer. Both of these teams undefeated. We had the streak versus the streak. Of course, right. we have 40-plus consecutive wins for the Cowboys coming into this last loss back in 2013 in the regular season. And, of course, the White Deer Bucks have yet to allow a point all season long. I know a lot of people are like, well, fall that scored. Game didn't count. Call it the half. Those games, those games never played. Right. So seeing if they could keep that streak alive, let's see how you, the fans, voted at home, who you thought were going to take home the victory. Yes, we know the math is wrong. Happy, 55%. White Deer, 45%. percent i I'll, I'll, I'll make that for quick white, correction there. <laughs> for White Deer. Let's take you out to the Bucks Stadium. In the second quarter, Peyton Freeman going to take the snap, and he pitches it to Case and Vigil. Vigil loses the ball, but gets scooped up by Haley Freeman, who's going to score on the 35-yard touchdown. That would put Make it 16-14 happy at that point. And then Jaden Bressler takes the snap, pitches it to... Colton McCarley, and he's going to throw to Dalton Gray for the score, 24-14. Now McCarley going to take the snap again. He fumbles the ball, and it's picked up by Gage Freeman for the Bucks. Now next possession for White Deer. Freeman going to throw the ball. This time it's picked off by Jackson Davis for Happy. Pretty sloppy first half here for both of these two teams. Sloppy or great defenses, whichever one you want to call it. It was a cold night out there. Defenses show up in the cold. Right, and the next happy possession, McCarley throws the ball, and it's picked off by Gage Freeman this time. Now White Deer ball, and they're down here 24-14. Cason Beal takes the snap, and he's going to run 43 yards to the house for the touchdown. They cut into the Cowboys' lead. 24 to 20, but happy they're gonna roll away with this one. This one did not end at the half, though. Played a full game tonight. We all got into the third, third quarter. quarter. 70 to 26. So both teams, first time they played more than a half all year long. And top two teams in the district. We have another big matchup next week: McLean and White Deer. Yeah, well. I know. So I know. Uh, that one. When we were out there on countdown to kickoff, I know a lot of the players were very eager to play one another, McLean and, and White Deer. I think that's one of their big rivalry games. So excited to see how that one plays out next week. Well, we're gonna re-air our hit of the week. Me and DJ think this is one of the greatest ones we've had so <laughs> far here on the wrap up. Brought to you by Jimmy Venture. This one's coming from Valley last and night's Silverton. game. Yeah, absolutely. So this one we're gonna go here with Joe Carrera. He's just going to bust through with the belly-to-back suplex. We call that a sack. Look, you're going to see a little laundry coming at the end. Yep, that's a flag. I do want to say also the quarterback, if this looks gruesome, he would be off fine as he would walk himself off the field there. And one more time, Ooh. that's right out of the pages of the WWE with the human suplex machine there. As a, that is your hit of the week. <laughs> well, now play of the week. We just witnessed this one coming out of the White Deer game. It's Case and V Hill. Losing the handoff, but scooped up there by, by Hadley Freeman for the big touchdown. Had to be there to be their yeah, first teammate. So having, having his teammate Way to pick back. him up. Well, let's check in now. Time for our pick em results. We'll see where everyone landed after tonight. Let's check in on those. We can see we I am... Tied now with Phil, 18-9. and nine. Yeah, We got Matt in second, 19-8. Lance Lawner all by himself at 20-7. and seven. The sixth man right behind with Matt at 19-8. And a spoiler, I'm still on last, 14 to 13. Yeah, so. With so, only nine games to go, I don't think there's any way I catch anyone. <laughs> yeah, and so Matt and the sixth man tied there for second, though. And then you and Phil right there for third. We'll see if we make it in the playoffs, right? This is our own little, <laughs> our own little district standings. Well, coming up next, we got Battle of the Bands and Fan of the Week. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the wrap-up.